So here we have a, you know, our instantiation of the Smart Badge. Um, this has a solar cell for harvesting. You can also harvest RF energy from uh, the NFC interface. It has Bluetooth low energy, uh, microphone, and a few sensors like accelerometers. And the goal here is, is to provide extra functionality to the user while still staying in a low power budget, say, say 100 microwatts to 200 microwatt power budget. Um, so on the back here, we have a uh, uh, e-ink display. Um, so you can imagine that instead of having your work week calendar, uh, you can just have it on here, so you don't have to you know, hold that extra little card with you. Um, you know, if you wanted to know what your next uh, meeting appointment would be, um, you can get that pushed up from Bluetooth from, to your phone, and then just um, you know, look at it here as you're running to your next meeting. Here we see the meeting, the meeting time, the room number, you know, the bridge number, those sort of things. You can do things like um, charge with NFC. So say your device is completely dead, um, you need, but you still need to get in the building. So now you can go take it, scan it in the building. That part will always work regardless of the batteries are dead. Say you wanted to go put uh, something on the screen, a little note to yourself or something. You can take your phone, send power and data to the device charge up uh, you know, the device enough to do an ink up update, and then that is going to be bi-stable. That's going to stay forever. And then when you get some more power, um, you can have from solar or from other sources, then you can have the Bluetooth interacting and doing the, sending data that way. So like a chameleon, or like a, like a cold-blooded animal, uh, will have uh, different amounts of um, you know, movement depending on the temperature. So here we have, uh, if we have no power, we can have a little bit of functionality. We have more power we can have larger amounts of functionality while still trying to figure out what to kind of provide to the user. We're trying to make it, uh, you know, I designed it for a week. Um, so given a certain number of e-ink up updates and communication back to the phone, but it could go to infinity. The hope would be it would be autonomously powered forever off solar. Um, and we're still trying to explore where, how much energy can you harvest in the scenario? How will that impact the power budget? That's part of our, our longer term research.